If you wanna buy a home or rent commercial space, you wanna get a same feel for it as if you're walking through it in real life. Today, you have two options, looking at the gallery of photos or do a virtual tour. But there's a third way, converting the physical space into digital coin. I'll show you how using a smartphone with a lighter sensor. All you have to do is point the camera at a space and start. And you'll see the application will start to scan the room and you go up and down, moving around the room to scan the entire area. So I'm covering all the corners of the room and lighter sensor does a good job of detecting the depth. Typically you wanna go slow to let the computer stitch together all the informations of the polygon. And does a pretty good job covering all the areas. Doesn't quite capture necessarily the scene outside of it, but it does a pretty good job capturing the indoor room like this. Also notice that some objects like tables and chairs, all the details are captured. And you can see in blue the areas that you haven't scanned yet. What's interesting is that you can also cover the ceiling area. So you get the idea of how tall the building is. Okay, I'm back to the original point and our scanning is complete. So I'm just going to stop the scanning process. And then you get the preview of the scan location. And right now it doesn't look like anything, but it just shows you metadata of what you captured. And then I have to process it. And this is gonna take a few minutes to process. And we'll show you when the result is ready to show. Now that the scanning is complete, we're gonna take this into Spatial I.O. so you can walk through it. I am on Spatial.io. I'm going to create new space click upload custom space and the space that we captured from my phone using lighter sensor is going to be available as exported file which is free select this poly.glb it's going to upload this glb file to the cloud into spatial io and you can see that the room that i was just scanning is right in front of us my avatar is a little bit bigger than life size so i'm going to adjust the scale a little bit there you go my avatar is adjusted more true to size now i can actually walk around the space even jump onto the table i can use keyboard i can use mouse i can even actually pair this with my headset and have way more immersive feeling and navigate using my controller. I can actually zoom into my avatar and get the first person view, which actually gives a great scale understanding of the room. And I can walk around here and say, okay, maybe this trash bin or a counter is waste level. And I can also zoom out as much as I want to and then get different perspective what's cool is that multiple people can join this space i can just share the link and they just click on the link and select the predefined avatar or bring in the avatar created using tools like ready player me if you want to customize your avatar walk around the space go to the fridge walk around in the cafeteria area you can even get the view that's impossible if it was just a static photo or the gallery of the virtual tour and I can actually walk around the space like this and this is so cool because I get the understanding of the space way better this way I can fit four of my body here and that's why you see four chairs here I can see that window here is maybe my arm flings because I can literally see with the scale of my avatar instead of just looking at the static photo or the virtual tour which is often distorted and I don't know is it bigger than my body size or smaller and I can adjust my avatar size to fit so if you have a bigger or smaller body you will be able to within some restrictions see how this works out 
It's also a nice way to work with your client. Let's say you're a real estate agent, you want to show the commercial space like this in our office in Bellevue. You can actually walk around with your client virtually and it's way easier to go to this fridge and talk about the fridge. This is a big enough size or not. And maybe walk to the cafeteria and see, oh, why is this window bigger than the others? It's way easier to point and gather at a place to talk about a space instead of screen share, flipping through photos. Even with the virtual tour, it takes many clicks to get to the screen. It's often jittery moving around the screen rapidly. And in spatial, you can just walk around because it's not multiple scenes that you're jumping into. Think about Google Street Map View you have to zoom in but this is a continuous 3d model space as if you had a CAD designer design the model they'll give you a space to walk in and you might notice the texture is not so great in this space right this is not official IO this is polycam using my iPhone 13 Pro what you expect to get with the level of technology we have this is just recorded using my iPhone and I just handheld the phone that's not a very stable way to capture high quality footage, right? I'm pretty sure with more professional setup, you can get better texture to make everything look a little bit more realistic and not blurred out. But I wanted to demonstrate how anyone can do this easily. It took me less than 30 minutes to scan the room using Polycam, which is a free software. All you need is a camera with the lighter sensor. And you can now bring it into Spatial I.O., which is another free tool. You can walk around the space. You can bring in your friend, your colleague, your client, walk around and do virtual house tour if you're remotely located from your friends maybe scan the wedding venue or something and do the rehearsal remotely for people flying in and cannot attend until the day of the wedding. This is just one of many problems that can be solved using latest technology combined with different tools and often already available to you that you just don't know about. If you want more content like this, follow me on LinkedIn, YouTube, TikTok, because I will be producing more content like this where it helps you understand how technologies can solve your problem, whether it's a personal, family, or business problem. I'd love to chat with you on how to solve problems you have using the available technologies. I hope to see you next time.